Hey there, football fans. Welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we're diving into the exciting match between Newcastle United and Chelsea. It was a game filled with surprises, stunning goals, and record-breaking moments. Let's take a closer look at the key stats from this thrilling encounter. First up, Newcastle United made history by winning consecutive Premier League home games against Chelsea for the first time since December 2014. They were on fire, scoring four goals against the Blues for just the second time in Premier League history. The last time they achieved this feat was way back in September 1994. But it wasn't just a historic win for Newcastle. Chelsea suffered a blow as they conceded four goals in back-to-back -back Premier League games for the very first time. Surprisingly, this is the same number of times they had conceded four or more goals in their previous 56 matches in the competition. Tough times for the Blues, indeed. This defeat also marked Chelsea's biggest margin of defeat in the Premier League this season under manager Mauricio Pochettino. The last time Pochettino faced such a heavy loss in the competition was back in October 2019 when he was managing Tottenham against Brighton, and they lost 3-0. On the other hand, Newcastle had a remarkable defensive record at home. They had not conceded a goal in the Premier League at St. James Park since August. That's a whopping 382 minutes without letting their opponents find the back of the net. Unfortunately, Raheem Sterling ended their impressive run with an equalizer in the 23rd minute. Now, let's talk about some standout performances. Newcastle's Anthony Gordon had a fantastic game, scoring a goal and providing an assist. This is the third time he has achieved this feat in the Premier League, once for Everton and twice for Newcastle. But what makes it even more special is that it's the first time he has done it at St. James Park. And finally, we have a record-breaking moment for young Lewis Miley. At just 17 years and 208 days old, Miley became the youngest player to assist a Premier League goal for Newcastle. This incredible achievement also makes him the youngest player to assist a goal in the entire competition since Jonathan Lecco did it for West Brom against Stoke in September 2016. What an incredible match it was, filled with goals, surprises, and record-breaking moments. We can't wait to see what the future holds for these teams. Make sure to stay tuned to Football News Center for more exciting updates from the world of football. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.